Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf and to this Cisco Packet Tracer course and in this tutorial of this Cisco Packet Tracer course we are going to configure a DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol server on a Cisco router using Cisco Packet Tracer and today we will be configuring DHCP on a router in next tutorial I am going to show you how to attach a DHCP server to our network and how we can configure DHCP server as a separate device and here main thing to know about DHCP is that DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol allows devices automatically receive IP addresses, subnet masks, default gateways and DNS information from a central server. And main purpose of DHCP is to assign all this information so network administrators don't have to do it manually for each device which is connecting to a particular network. And in this tutorial I am going going to show you how to create a pool of IP addresses which DHCP server can assign to devices and I'm also going to show you how to create a reserved IP address from this IP address pool for example if you wouldn't want to allow that IP address to be assigned to any of the devices and we will be using CLI or command line interface to do this so first let's create our network topology where we will have one router one switch and three PCs in the left bottom corner click on network devices and in second navigation in the left bottom corner make sure that routers are selected and here to the right let's select the last router which is 2811 and click somewhere on the workspace to add this router then again let's click on network devices and in second navigation here in the left bottom corner select switches and let's select very first switch which is 2960 and also click on the workspace to add that switch and now let's select three end devices so in first navigation in left bottom corner click on end devices and let's add three PCs so click on PC click on the workspace and similar way let's add another two PCs and now let's connect all these devices click on connections in first tab on the in the left bottom corner and select copper straight through cable first let's click on router and on router let's select fast ethernet zero forward slash zero port and then click on switch select fast ethernet zero forward slash one port and similar way let's click on copper straight through cable let's again click on switch select fast ethernet zero forward slash two port and let's click on our first device let's connect it and let's do exactly the same with our other devices fast ethernet zero forward slash three port let's click on PC1 fast Ethernet 0 and again copper straight through cable click on switch fast Ethernet 0 forward slash 4 port and let's click on our last device and let's connect it to fast Ethernet port so now we have connected all our devices and here on this router we also have a DHCP here also important to note is that the main purpose of the router is not to have a DHCP things like DHCP or access point are usually separate devices in a large networks however in home routers or in some routers DHCP server is also built in so in next step we will be configuring our DHCP server on our routers so as we will assign a gateway address to our router and gateway address as you know is needed for devices to communicate to the router so they are able to communicate to other networks which are connected to the router so as we will enable router so it establishes connection with our switch and we will configure DHCP server also on our router and to do that let's click on our router and let's click into the CLI or command line interface as we will be doing it on command line interface and here you can see it is asking in my scenario would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog here I will type in no hit enter or you can hit enter if you don't have that until you will get to router and triangle bracket type in enable so we enter a configuration mode enable hit enter and type in next command configure terminal and hit enter now we have entered the configuration mode the first thing what we will be doing we will be assigning IP address to the port we, where we connected our switch and as you remember we connected our switch to fast Ethernet 0 forward slash 0 port on this 
a router. So we need to assign IP address and subnet mask to this port. Who are watching my videos, you already know these commands from my previous videos. This is the command interface, as interface is the same as port in Cisco Packet Tracer or in Cisco those are interfaces. So interface space and the name of this port which is fast ethernet zero forward slash zero. So by this command interface and then interface name or port and port name we are simply selecting this port and hit enter and in next step we need to assign IP address and subnet mask and to do that we type in command IP address space and specify IP address and in our scenario IP address will be 192.168 this will be also a gateway of our router dot one dot one and space and subnet mask will be 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot zero and by using this command IP address as you already know we are specifying IP address and subnet mask to this port on our router and hit enter and now we have assigned IP and subnet mask also to that port but next step we need to also enable this port to enable the port we type in command no space shutdown and hit enter and as you can see once we hit it once we hit enter this port has been enabled now it is green and it is establishing connection with our our switch so we have assigned IP address I will actually close this down let's place a note under our router so you know the gateway address and it was 192.168.1.1 and it is a gateway and our routers IP address for this local area network now let's click again on our router let's go into CLI as it enabled our router state is up not down as you know from previous tutorials guys then if state is up this means that port is enabled so now we need to assign a DHCP pool this means how many IP addresses DHCP server will be able to use to assign IP addresses to devices first we will need to create a pool name or our DHCP IP pool name and to do that we type in commands IP space DHCP space and pool and space and then you give a pool name I will be calling my pool lan underscore pool you can call your pool however you want I will call it just for the purpose of this tutorial with this command IP DHCP pool and then you give a pool name of the IP addresses for this particular DHCP server and hit enter and with next command we need to specify the range to do that type in network space and 192.168.1.0 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and by this command network we are specifying that we will be giving all this IP range with this subnet mask and here you know that if we are giving all pool of IP addresses of 192.168.1 then we will have available 254 IP usable IP addresses for DHCP server so it is able to assign these 254 IP addresses to devices and hit enter and with next command we also need to specify the default router of our DHCP server and to do that we type in command default dash router space and we need to give this router's IP address which was 192.168.1.1 so let's do it 192.168.1.1 hit enter actually there is a problem as you see I didn't type in default I didn't specify the T letter default dash router space 192.168.1.1 and hit enter and now we have also assigned the default router to this DHCP server by using this command default router and now we can also specify the DNS server for all these devices for example if you would want some particular DNS servers to all those devices which get assigned this information like routers information DNS server information and default IP address from this 254 IP address range so to assign a default DNS server I will assign Google's DNS server we type in a command DNS dash server and Google's DNS server is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. 
and hit enter. And now with these commands we have assigned IP range from 192.168.1.1 with subnet mask 255.255.255 we have 254 available IP addresses. We have assigned the default router for this DHCP and we have assigned all default DNS server. And once we have done all this configuration we type in a command exit and we hit enter. So we exit this DHCP configuration mode. And for example if you would want to also exclude some IP address like I mentioned you can also do it by the following command you type in IP space DHCP as we already in previous commands we already have specified the pool of addresses which this DHCP have and here type in a command excluded dash address and in our scenario I will exclude the IP addresses which is one assigned for our router which is 192.168.1.1 and I will uh, exclude 10 IP addresses to 192.168.1.10 and to do that we specify IP address range 192.168 dot one dot one and then space and then ending IP address to which we want to exclude which would be 192.168.1.10 so all this range of IP addresses from dot one till dot ten these are excluded IP addresses from this pool which we have defined which is 192.168.1.1 where we had 254 IP addresses now 10 IP addresses we have excluded hit enter and now we can close down this configuration and then we can go and configure IP addresses so they are obtained by our devices so I will click on our PC1 which is our first computer I will click into desktop and here click into IP configuration and here we can see that configuration by default is static if we click into DHCP it is automatically assigning IP address and as you can see here IPv4 address in our scenario as you know we excluded IP addresses which ends with dot one to dot ten and it assigned the very first available IP address which is dot eleven and we it assigned also subnet mask and DHCP server also assigned this default gateway which is the 192.168.1.1 which is here and the HCP server also assigned a default DNS server Google's DNS which is 8.8.8.8 .8 and let's close this down and now let's do exactly the same with PC1 let's click on it go into desktop IP configuration and now if I will enable the HCP server probably this IP address will end with dot 12 so let's enable the HCP server and here you can see that this IP address is assigned with dot 12 192.168.1.12 because this is next available IP address in our DHCP servers range where we allowed all IP address range and then we excluded from IP address dot 1 till dot 10 so this computer got dot 11 and this second computer got dot 12 IP address and the same default gateway and DNS server and let's do exactly the same to our third device going to desktop IP configuration DHCP server and this would be dot 13 so our DHCP server is working and it is assigning IP addresses subnet masks default gateway gateways and DNS servers to our network on our router. So yes guys, hope that you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.